Don't go there. If you can't say something politically correct, just say something totally inconsequential. You just shut up about, yes, we can, actually being just one more ad man's empty campaign slogan. We won't even discuss the omissions, misrepresentations, and lies that already cost us over a trillion dollars in Iraq. Nobody wants to hear about fixing corporal agriculture if it might cost them any extra at all for their Doritos. Just don't mention that the greatest country on the planet is only leading the undeveloping world. Where's a benefit to facing the fact that your kid's future clearly is not nearly as bright as yours was? Who's going to worry much about that climate change scam that good Republican leaders are certain is pure BS? Shush up over exporting our temporary glut of frack natural gas our energy independence with no plan for when it's gone. We'll stifle statistics that the poor and ignorant are wildly outbreeding ye of the educated middle class. You cannot say our natives and blacks must have some kind of issues if they can be held down for so long, so easily. Only a traitor would dare speak out against outspending the next 20 countries combined on defense. Thou shalt not speculate that victims of the obesity plague might shoulder any personal responsibility. It's political suicide to admit that we must all pay higher taxes and get less benefits just to scrape by. Don't even whisper of the insurance and drug industry deals cut in back rooms to get that stupid Obamacare shoved through. You just won't get away with demanding childbearing licenses as well as requiring two-parent families. Don't bring up those false promises of the good new jobs of tomorrow they made when they outsourced you. Stop calling their dogma of eternal GDP growth just another fairy tale, too big to fail, pyramid scam. Don't discuss how doctors can make $400 an hour up until age 80, but you have to be under 30 just to code a stupid app. It's off topic to ask why top corporal rungs are only for furtive, one-track, shoulder-climbing psychopaths. Never ever even whisper that sainted Israel practices what the Nazis did to them on those Palestinians. Don't ask how we actually have a vibrant, structurally sound economy with 20% of us on food stamps. We won't even calculate business losses that result from promotions based solely on affirmative action. Better not go around belittling football and all of its brainwashed bacon, cheese, and beer-loving worshipers you won't hear how the Wall Street banks got way too much bigger to fail again. So forget about that. There's no need to broadcast that cable, internet, and cell service costs more here than anywhere else. Politicians hope you won't notice that they work two and a half days per week in Washington and then go fundraising the rest. We'll never debate whether holiday shopping isn't one of the most important news stories every year. All right to uber loud fireworks, jake brakes, pickups, and Harleys is rightly not even under scrutiny. Shut up and hold the door for them as they go home early again for their kids with their equal pay. So you think that the main problem with the education system is parenting? Don't you dare go there. We'll simply ignore the increasing jihadi activity going on from Morocco all the way across to Indonesia. Nobody wants to talk low priority issues like economic sustainability, much less habitat preservation. And who the hell cares if our landfills are overflowing with valuable recyclables marinating in our own toxic wastes? No, you shouldn't finally tell them that they're not really very special, even though they all got prizes. 
can't label those leeching seamlessly from unemployment to disability to social security as moochers. No, sir. How dare you even dream of a support group just for displaced white men? Why, you racist Nazi pervert. Mustn't voice the heresy that Christianity is as dogmatic, worn out, and irrelevant as that tired socialism.